I'm Lorraine Johnson, the CEO of LymeDisease.org. Today I'm going to share with you some results from our big data project, MyLyme Data. We launched MyLyme Data in November of 2015. Over 5,000 people have enrolled in the program, and our goal is to reach 10,000. Our previous quick bite on neurologic Lyme disease focused on how frequently Lyme disease patients are misdiagnosed with neurologic conditions. Today, our focus will be on treatment response to antibiotics of Lyme patients who were previously misdiagnosed with a neurological condition. Just to review, the MyLyme Data Registry asks patients if they were initially misdiagnosed with another illness. Unfortunately, most of these patients report that they were initially misdiagnosed, and roughly 20% of those misdiagnosed were misdiagnosed with a neurologic disease, 14% with MS, and 2% with other neurologic diseases like ALS, Parkinson's, and multiple systems atrophy. In our previous quick bite, we pointed out the dangers of misdiagnosis, particularly when patients are given steroids or other immune suppressants that may allow infection to run rampant. We also pointed out that patients with Lyme disease can become quite ill on steroids. At the end of the quick bite on neurologic uh, Lyme disease misdiagnosis, we asked those who read the blog piece to take a survey and let us know if they had previously been misdiagnosed with a neurological condition and whether their neurological symptoms had improved with antibiotic treatment. Over 700 people took that short survey. For people who had been diagnosed with Lyme disease and had been previously misdiagnosed with a progressive neurologic disease, we asked what disease they had been diagnosed with and what effect, if any, treatment with antibiotics had had on their neurologic symptoms. And here are their responses. It's important to keep in mind that this is a, a relatively small sample, 190 patients, and although over 700 people took the survey, in our analysis, we just included those that were diagnosed with Lyme disease by a healthcare provider and who had been misdiagnosed with a neurologic disease before being diagnosed with Lyme disease. And as you can see, roughly 55% report some improvement, whether it's uh, slowing progression, improving symptoms, or uh, the resolution of neurologic symptoms entirely. Now, there are inherent limitations of survey studies, but they can do something that's very helpful for this community, and that is to suggest what treatments may work. In this case, the suggestion is that some patients with progressive neurologic conditions who are diagnosed with Lyme may improve with antibiotic treatment. To show more than this is important, and it would require a more robust study with a control group and a sample that was not self-selected, and this is research that we encourage. Let me end by thanking the 5,000 patients who have enrolled in my Lyme data so far. If you have Lyme disease and have not enrolled in my Lyme data, please do so today.